Go for it. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Joe Code Podcast. Fun podcast coming at you today for episode 124. Got a great guest in here today. Good to have a guest again. It's been a few solo episodes. Back to the guest. This guy, uh, I can say a lot about him, uh, but we only have so much time. So uh, we'll keep it short. Usually I make the guest walk on, but I like you already sitting. That's your style. Um, this guy, okay, so he's a great stand-up comedian. Uh, I've known him for years. See him at the comedy store. He's a paid regular there. You guys would know him from Instagram. He is Guido Gagoots. Uh, he's got a hilarious page. And he, you've also seen him in The Offer, if you have Paramount+. Plus. So, uh, is that it? Yeah, I think Everything. it's this one, yeah. Okay, everyone, welcome to the podcast, Sandro Yocolano. Hey, man. Hey, man, great I, to have you here. Thank you. I just want to say I didn't, uh, I just sat down because it was a chair. I didn't know if there was, I should have asked if there was a protocol. No, sometimes we do have. it, I do it like it's like a, like a talk show where I intro the guests, but, you know, there's not a studio audience, so it just kind of. Yeah. It's kind of just me having fun with the person. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I want you to have fun. Yeah, I mean, this fits you. Yeah. You're you're good there. How's that cold brew? Great. Is it? Great, man. And thank you so much. That was a really nice thing. You texted me, and you're like, I'm getting coffee. Do you want anything? And I was like, the only thing would have made it better if you were like, hey, I have to cancel today. <laughs> but other than that, the coffee was a great... <laughs> yeah, people do that. Last minute cancels. I'm glad y you didn't. No. I did it the day before because I was before having a, did that. a brain meltdown. Well, but yeah, that's, you got to take care of that. Yeah, but uh, not a lot of people take me up on the offer when I, I know, invite it, them. I know I knew you were a coffee guy, though. You knew I was, and I honestly don't turn me down. No, God, no. That's the thing is like I normally I probably wouldn't take you up on that offer because in my mind I'm like, no, why why got to put him out? But then I was like, fuck, let me no, give you don't him have to put out. No, I don't have to put out, but I'm saying I don't want to put you out either. Oh, okay. But then I, I don't want to deny you, you know, the because you you offered, so it's something you wanted to do. Yeah. So I, and I appreciate the coffee. So. Yeah, I mean, as my guest, this is is what I want to do for people. Um, man, you got a great head of hair. What's your secret? Yeah, I I don't know, dude. I just uh, I don't wash it that often. I probably wash it in the wintertime once every two weeks, in the summertime once a week. Really? Yeah. I used to overwash my hair a lot, but I think it's just, uh, you know, it's just dumb luck. Yeah, I heard you're really not supposed to, but it looks like it, it might smell. Yeah, it probably does. I don't get that close to people. and uh, But this is this is right from a pillow. Yeah, you have so much hair. I mean, what yeah. have you ever tried losing it? No, but I'm taking some meds that might might cause me to cut to lose it, so I don't know. Man, yeah, yeah. you got a, you got a good head. I you gotta, didn't do it on purpose, did you? Yeah, I did. I, I was like, hey, man, I'm, what is this? I don't even. You don't even want that. No. Nah. Yeah, but then you, if you have high testosterone, that's when you lose your hair. That's what I heard. So you just have high testosterone. I feel like I do. I, yeah. Well, here's the thing. When I, I mean, I got to the point anywhere. I was like, I don't even know what to do with my hair. So I'm like, if I'm lo lo losing it, I'm like, okay, this is like my look, I feel like. I'm like, all right, this is what I want. Yeah, yeah. Well, like you, look, I, you look great. You always look like, you always look like you know what you look like, and you're like, this is me, I don't care. I like yeah, it. it is me. It's confident. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care, man. Um, but yeah, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. We are happy to have you here. You uh, so on this podcast we talk a lot of it's a lot of food talk, mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll just get right into it. Uh, you know what got back into my life recently is rice cakes. Really? Ooh, yeah, nice healthy snack. Um, mm. But I'll tell you what, you eat one of those, you better not move. It's crumbs everywhere. Oh, One yeah, bite yeah. just all over the place. Dude, you know what's funny is that recently I thought about you because I ate a pear. Oh, yeah. And I, used I was. To do that joke. Yeah, that, that was like, that is, and your joke, I was over the kitchen sink because of it. 
Like oh, nice. it's not a food that, and I was thinking of you. I'm like, it's not a food that you take you take on the road. Yeah, you <laughs> can't. Yeah, that's but great. Flavored rice cakes or plain? Uh, right now I just have like plain like brown rice ones. Mm. Just trying to have healthy snacks or whatever. Yeah, no. but yeah, you can't. I don't know. I just rice cakes have entered the chat, as they say. They're back okay. in my life. I don't like that. Same. That's like one of those new sayings. I'm more of like I like this one. Like say rice cakes are in the building. I like that. Yeah, like, yeah, something's yeah. in the building. I like the fact that it's like in- enter the chat. It's not talking. These no. rice cakes aren't gonna say a freaking word to me. They don't talk. That's true. Also, if you put them in the chat, that means that there's like a pressure to make them part of the conversation. But if they're in the building, they could be in the in the closet. They could be in the hallway. Coming yeah, they're in. just here. There's no pressure. Um, you have a. Did you get a car yet? I remember you didn't have a car. Uh, I don't, so don't feel I, embarrassed. Either. When did I? It was no, I had a car. I do, I didn't have. It wasn't working for a while. Oh, all right. But now I do have. Oh, okay. I have it back. Yeah, it had oh, some good. issues with it. Uh, I just had to spend a bunch of money on it. But you don't have a car? No, I like it. I like not having one. It's, yeah. It's nice to walk. It's freeing. And there's no traffic. That's true. Like people, like at work, people text in our group chat, oh, running late, a lot of traffic, and I'm just moseying down the sidewalk. Yeah. Not in any traffic. But, the, I mean, the sidewalk is a little annoying these days. People don't know how to merge, really. When I'm terrified of uh, electric scooters running me over or hitting I, me. Yeah, or, I've been having I that can't. lately. It's annoying. Get off the sidewalk with that. Yeah. And and people come behind me, and no one, they don't say anything. I just see them zooming. But like, if I took one jab step either way, yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah, they have to. They just assume they're going to be able to. They're like the mindset of like, oh, just get around them real quick. But yeah, but you have your own life and your own movements. Yeah. So you're going to get in the way. At least beep. Yeah. It's almost like they think that if they, in my mind, I think they like they don't want to let you know because then they're admitting they're on the sidewalk. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, yeah, and then people walk. They they don't. Nobody's looking up. People, I'll be walking straight, someone to come out of a place, and they don't look left or right. They just are going ahead. And yeah, the robots are more self conscious. <laughs> Have you seen the robots yeah. on Sunset? Yeah, like the those. I always feel like those are like failed drone operators. Well, I, like, I saw one. I, I mean, Chase is a robot now. Remember Chase, Chase Bernstein? Yeah, yeah, our good friend, comedian. Yeah, I saw it right on the side Chase. So now. Jesus Christ. I reason. haven't seen her in a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, I know well. she used to get a little frustrated, I know, with stand-up, but to yeah. now become a delivery robot is a little crazy. Yeah. I mean, you could... I'll have to... I gotta check on her. But you, don't, but you don't get parking tickets if you're a delivery robot, because a lot of times it was like a, there's no hazard lights to turn on. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they're they cool. Nobody messes with them. Yeah. Is it okay if I curse in this thing? Is that? I don't normally do it, but... Sometimes yeah, you can. When I'm I around mean, you, I feel like I. I mean, yeah, I, I let out uh, some f bombs and whatnot. Mm. You know, we could do that. We'll pace. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna script anything. I um. Here, I have to do a, a little promotion real yeah, quick. Sure. Uh, okay, uh, everyone. As I've said before, I am the producer of the Door Guy Show every Friday night at the Comedy Store in the Belly Room. Uh, if you're in Los Angeles. That show, I think I think it said Los Angeles. Okay, if you're in L.A., Los Angeles, uh, come to the Comedy Store Friday night, every Friday night in the Belly Room, the Door Guy Show. You'll see me and other great comedians. That's every Friday night, ten thirty in L.A. If you're ever in L.A., come to that. It is only five dollars. All right, thanks, Sandro. Oh, um, no worries. I just want to let you know, you said the second time you said Los Angeles. Do you want to take that again? Or are you... <laughs> Los Angeles. There we go. Yeah. I've heard people say Los Angeles, which yeah, that's doesn't not... make any sense. But then again, if it's a translation from Spanish, I guess you could say whatever you wanted. It means City of Angels. Yeah. Yeah. Have yet to see... Nobody's any, at anybody. Holy here. Yeah. No. Dude, so you produce the... That's your show? You it do? is now, yeah. I love that show. Wait, so somebody okay, somebody else had it. Well, the uh, well, that was the thing. No one kind of was really running it. Mm. It was just kind of 
going on its own and they wanted someone to kind of take it over to give it some uh you know, help uh, with the promotion Pizazz. and stuff like that. Yeah, just have someone. Yeah. I think uh, they're going to have me book it soon. And yeah, because they want someone to take it over. That's, you know, the people in charge that's over dope, there man. and stuff. That's a, such a, that's such a cool show. And I love it when like, uh, I was never a door guy, but I love it when people around the store get love. You know what I mean? Like you're there for a reason. So yeah, it's just good to, f- reason. yeah, good to foster like talent, man. No, I'm serious. Like it's like, some places they just have you, you know. Yeah, and then they don't do shit with you, and they just like use yeah. you for your labor and. Yeah, no, they they know that we're there for comedy, yeah. and that and that's awesome. Um, did you uh, did you dress up for Halloween? No, I forgot it was Halloween until the day of, and I for a split second I was like, why is it? What the hell is everybody doing? Yeah, and then I didn't even. I'm not a big Halloween guy. Yeah, but I did because at the comedy <clears throat> store we had like a party. For whatever reason, we were mm. closed and didn't have any shows and just had a party so that the people that drink every night can just do what they normally do. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> so I, I kind of did a half ass costume of just like a sports, like a, I was like a Chicago super fan. I had bull, Bulls shorts on and a Blackhawks t shirt and a Bears hat. And I called it a fucking night. Yeah, that was the name of your character, a fucking knight. Yeah, or you mean you went home? Yeah, I went home. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't hang out that long. Uh, But that's smart though, man. You you go with what you know, and then you have the stuff, so you're like, screw it. Yeah, we put this to use. Makeup and get out of my. Uh, So what? Here, what was I gonna say? Where's your social media? So uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, I had it for a while, and then I, is it missing? Should we put up flyers? No, I. Th- it, well, Are we gonna find it. You can put up instead of show flyers, just put up a flyer of a missing. The only flyer yeah, that missing matters. Sandro Yocolano. Yeah. See, that could be a, an ad campaign. What itself. happened? I just had to get rid of it for a little bit. Everything was going too well on social media, and uh, I had I was too happy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get rid of it. Yeah, because things I get go you. too good, you know. No, it's just I, a little I bit understand. of a, a little bit of a break. I, the only thing that I, I did feel bad about is because when I do it, I don't want to put a bulletin out, you know. If I'm like, hey, everybody, I'm off the thing. Yeah. But I just did it because I was like, I have to do it for the moment. Yeah. I just don't want anybody to think that I blocked them. I That's, discovered that because I looked for you and I didn't see it. But you do have your Guido Gagoots page. The Guido's up there. My buddy Adriano Valentini, who uh, directs them and we write them, and he, he created the character. We write them together. And he, he mainly writes them. I just pretend. Yeah, it's but, great, uh, man. Dude, he's, yeah, it's so good. He's got the page up, uh, well, and it, they're fun to do. Yeah, because it's, oh, it's how to do shit with Guido Gagoots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you don't ever actually get to the task. You just get in an argument with the person. Yeah. And <laughs> you do this thing where it, it's where you're, I mean, you're a great actor. You do this thing where you, like, look at the camera as, like, this this guy's a fucking jag off yeah. over here. Like you make you have this look in your eye, like what the fuck's going yeah. on with this guy? Yeah, it's nice to like uh, feign contempt. Yeah, but then you know you just you remember all the times that you were like in your life you're like what the fuck am I? What is this? And yeah, you just can't draw from that, you know. But yeah, yeah it's, you got it's fun to yeah, yell the facial expressions and yeah, I mean just your the your back and forth is great. You're great on camera. Thanks, man. It's a fun, it's a fun uh, rep repar, repartee. That's right. Is that that's, a word? That's not it. Rip report. What is it? So back in rapport banter, I guess. But it's scripted. Brett so banter. Brett, no. Oh, that's I Brett fucking banter. love that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Re- yeah. Talking. Rapport. Talking. Back and forth. Well, I, I forget what repartee is. That could be it. It could. Yeah. I think a little I, fancy I, for us. Yeah, I don't need to know exactly what the word means. I'm satisfied with just. Now, what's the weirdest pronunciation someone's ever said of your name? I was thinking of one. Let me give you mine. Yeah. Uh, so Sandro Yocolano. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about locomotive? Is no, that would have. That? No, that's. that's I love that one. Locomotive actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, well, you're on the same train of thought. So, yeah, there you yeah, go. So it works yeah. out well. Uh, I've ironically enough, it was a telemarketer who called, looked at the name who what that was spelled correctly. Yeah, and which is Yokolano, which is pronounced perfectly. Yeah, uh, but Yokolucci. 
like didn't even try <laughs> so it was like complete way That's off <laughs> but i was like laughing because what are you gonna do i mean maybe you could get the first part wrong but you should be able to get the l-a-n-o right <laughs> yeah yeah if you think there's a ci at the end that's then, uh, great. But yeah, Yoko Lucci. One time it showed up on a caller ID because people usually put the O at the end as a D. So it literally showed up on a caller ID as Taco Land. Because <laughs> so it was T A, because it looked, it was so ridiculous. That's great. <laughs> yeah. It's a better last name. Italian. That's cool. Yeah, it's all right. I, you know. Well, yeah, I, I'm too. But you're, I mean, you're, you're, are your parents born there? Yeah. Yeah. See, fourth. I'm, I'm fourth generation. Like, mm. My great grandparents were there and came over to uh, America, but then right to Chicago. Or yeah, right. See, that's about as close as you can get to real Italian is Chicago Italian. New York Italian, nah, it's not. It's not the same. Oh, you think so? I think so. I think Chicago Italian because it's interesting. It's more of a, I don't know. There's more of New York is so big, so per pervas perverse. What is it? Pervasive. It's, per it's, perver it's a perverted city. It right? is perverse. So it's so yeah, perverted. It's degenerates. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. But so they have, you know, it's like they. It's more acclimated to the American culture. This is all an opinion, by the way. So I think that Chicago uh, Italians probably adhere to more of the traditional stuff from like the back home. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, because I've never been there. Have you been there? I've been there uh, twice. Nice. One year after the other, and the second year, my dad. Uh, Took us. He left us with a nice gift, and I and I really appreciate that. He took us all to Sicily. Oh, nice. To see, uh, to see, to meet our family all together. You know, so, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been. I you you know what I heard about Italy. I I heard there's no chicken parm there. No chicken parmesan. Mm -mm. They just call it ch uh, chicken because it's already. But do they do it? Not really. I mean, it's like yeah, a, I, it's like an Olive that, Garden. And I'm not going. Yeah, you got. They don't. They don't. They also I'll tell don't you have, that right now. I'm not going if you guys aren't making chicken parm. Well, you got to get this podcast to a super reach, and then they will start making chicken parm. I mean, can we call up uh, Vinny, uh, whoever, uh, Vinny Guadalucci, and no, make no, not put this in time, a call? Not this, not this time of year. He's he's busy. All right, but uh, no, they don't have chicken parm. I don't Send think him they a have. message. Yeah, that's what I just heard. Ne yeah, no never ending breadsticks. Okay, that, that's not. I don't. I don't know. I think what that you do. Was. I think you do. I think you do. Coo -coo 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 -coo. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, like that stays in. We don't edit it out. I'm not one of these. It's like, oh man, I did that. Shut up, man. Who cares? That. This is a comedy podcast. Laugh at it. What, what am I here to impress people with my speech yeah, tongue? I, I always say that the dumber I look, tongue. speech yeah. tongue. See, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Speech tongue. You were very specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows what that is. <laughs> what Speech were we saying? <laughs> yeah, no, but I was saying, I, like, chicken parmesan with the pasta. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I see that as Italian. I don't see that, like... Uh, yeah. I like it. I don't care. I'm I one, like it, I'm, yeah. I'm one of these... I'm, one of, I'm just a person who likes food, and if it's flavorful, I will have a dish at the Olive Garden. I don't care. Dep also... I've eaten there once. It's fine. It's but fine. I, it, but I grow up in a family that makes all that better food totally they all make pasta and italian and brujol and meatballs and i don't need to go brujol shit yeah with the egg inside yeah, I've that in a while yeah. yeah that's been a while my mom used to make it but she doesn't make it anymore and it's a kid because there's a string around it and yes. i never knew what the string was yeah and i always would cut the string because i would you know be the first person to eat the brujol yeah i haven't had it in years so good yeah uh, all right. So we talked about. Well, oh, what city do you claim is home? Because I know you're like East Coast, but I I would say because I was I was born in Boston, oh, Massachusetts, right. yeah. but and I have you know family up there, so has str has stronger ties. But I grew up in Florida, so I grew up in Clearwater, Florida. So now I just say, oh, nice. It's yeah. like that thing where you know you say Clearwater, and people are like, oh, where's that? And then I would say, oh, it's near Boston. <laughs> but because they know where Boston is, you know. But then now I'm like, I just say Florida. How do I mean? Clearwater is a pretty popular city. It's on the it's on the east coast there, right by Tampa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not too far. Yeah, I guess it is now. Back then it was, you know, I, I would just say Tampa. Yeah, but you yeah, know, it's right it's, there, right yeah. on the, right on the Gulf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hasn't, not a bad hasn't, city. Hasn't uh, Scientology taken over Clearwater? 
Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, they're the number one uh downtown property. In downtown they own the most property there and then like around Clearwater they have all uh um yeah. You, you basically you don't really go down there. They diverted traffic to go for, used to go to get to the beach, Clearwater Beach, you'd have to go through downtown. Yeah. Then years ago, about 10 years ago, they basically paid the city so that they would divert the new bridge away from downtown so no one there's no traffic really going through it. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. They're nice people. Really, really sweet. They they don't blink, so you know that they're always present. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a good... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, it's a, it's a trip. They will escort you out of there if they don't like... Uh, you know. If you if you look like Rhea Remini, Leah Remini, yeah. they, don't, they tell you to leave. Yeah, I don't think that she's welcome anymore. No. I've told this before, but... There's a there's a, a center in North Hollywood, and I used to drive past it to get here every day, and I would call my mom occasionally on the way to work, and uh, as soon as I got near that place, the cell would drop out. What? Every time. And so I just think they have some sort of jammer so people can't try to oh, escape. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't doubt it at all. That's like... Yeah, there's always somebody like patrolling. Like, there's that one near the hospital up yeah. on Sunset in, yeah, in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, there's people like was you know this guy was like had his a camera phone out just like pointed at the place, and this guy came up to the window. I didn't hear what they were saying, but the guy le- left immediately from his car. It was, no, he got out. Uh, the guy came up to the window from. I'm sorry, the uh, he came up to the gate. Where oh. The guy was just like out of nowhere, and then the guy on the with the camera phone, the camera phone. They're just called camera phones. So he left. Like immediately. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary. Um, that's a cool shirt for uh, the people watching. Yours, you have ice. Uh, which ice is that? Cube. Cube. That's cube. the cube. Ice cube. Yeah. And I, I have wanted Mar- to get three of them to be ice cubed, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Marie Barone, of course, the beloved mother from. Everybody loves Raymond. I wonder if they would get along, Marie and uh, Ice Cube. I think so. She's got a she's got a bit of a, a sass to her. Yeah, I think yeah. he would like. She's that. a ball buster, which I think goes very you know. It's a genuine thing. Yeah. Uh, all right, Sandra. I do a couple segments on this show where mm. we uh, I do a thing that's this sucks. I have a Joe code, and then I do a this is great. So I'm gonna do uh, a this. This sucks right now. And this sucks for this week is people wearing random jerseys at sporting events that don't pertain to the sporting event we're at. I I did go to the Bears-Chargers game over the weekend where the Bears lost. Uh, yeah, I was at the game. It was fun, though. It was a good time with friends. And people wearing random jerseys that aren't the Bears Chargers. Uh, see a Dallas Cowboys jersey, Green Bay Packers jerseys, a guy in a freaking Seattle Mariners jersey, not even the right sport. <laughs> Get out of my face, man. And it was great. One of my friends that was with Ron, he we, like we'd walk past people like on the way in the game and he would just like. He's one of these guys that'll just talk to people and like he saw the Cowboys jersey and he's like, Cowboys suck. And then the guys like, will be like, Yeah, it's sort of the Bears. And then there's like almost a little fight. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, Cowboys suck. Don't wear that jersey at my game. Or even any, any game. Yeah. Even a Cowboys game. But uh, yeah, I mean, we can't talk trash. The Bears. Well, I mean, but it is, the it Cowboys is disgusting. Cowboys are better. Right Cowboys now. are better right now, but. The that bothers me when somebody wears another jersey to a game. Yeah. Also, it's so stupid. It's stupid, but then also I find that like even even if like you wear oh god, I remember I was at a, a, a baseball game and I was at a, a Red Sox game. Yeah. And uh, the guy had a Nomar Garcia Parra jersey. Right. And he was traded to L. A. Oh, after and they yeah. played, but he wore the jersey, and I'm like, no, you can't. He was rooting for him now, but he's wearing the Red Sox jersey. The Red Sox one when he's on the Dodgers. Yeah, yeah if, you I don't don't like buy, that. if you don't buy the new one, then don't wear the old one. Yeah. Keep that under a picture frame, you know, at home yeah, or something. Yeah, you're a Boston sports fan, right? I am, yeah. but now, to be honest, I really don't even care. The older I get, the less allegiance I have. To no, that's good. Yeah, it's, you know, you don't want to take it too, uh, you don't want to be crazy about it. 
I saw uh, a guy at the grocery store in a Red Sox t-shirt, Yankees hat, and I was like, what is this guy? Yeah, what are you doing? It's a human troll. What is that? Yeah. That's just, yeah, that doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, speaking of trolls, like you'll, I'll see guys like in Aaron Rodgers jerseys at the Bears Chargers game. It's like, hey, you're just trying to stick it to us. You're trying to get us riled up. Yeah. You want people to say something to you. And you know what? People will. Don't wear that jersey here. Yeah, if you're gonna looking for a fight, you're gonna if if you're gonna looking for a fight, that's what I said. Yeah. If you're gonna looking for a fight, you're gonna get one. They should wear Jordan Love jerseys to the to the Bears game. Yeah. They should have yeah, make fun the, of themselves. Yeah, at least he's the current guy. Yeah. But uh it was pretty fun. I don't know if you've ever been to that SoFi Stadium. No, it looks it looks really cool. It's man. cool. But then yeah. they sell beer outside, like people have coolers um but like before you go in and yeah, it, it's interesting. You walk in. Aaron, have you been there? No. So it's one of those stadiums that's built under the ground, mm -hmm. built into the ground. So you walk in, you're in the middle level. You're at the 300 level. It goes oh, up shit. to 500. So wait, what? street you're at level is 300. Oh, wow. Yeah, so then there's four and five above you. And you have to go down to 200 and the 100 level. Yeah. And so, I was on the 300 level, so we were right there. It was cool. Wow. So there's a part of the stadium that's below sea level? Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, I didn't know it was one of those. Yeah, I mean, there's like like the big house in Michigan is like that. Okay. Have you ever been to Ann Arbor? You know her? No, I don't. I have an Uncle Arbor, but at the Ann, no. All right. Well. But it's by, by marriage. We're not really, really related, so it's I don't even know why I mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> um. I was going to say, uh, yeah, do you, I was drinking a lot of beer over mm. the Sunday. Do you, do you have a drink of choice? I don't know if I've seen you drink. You're not really a drink guy. I don't guy. drink very often. I do like Jameson. I like whiskey. Oh, yeah. I like okay. a very efficient uh, beer. Beer bloats me up and then I get uncomfortable. Yeah. And I don't have very strong abs. <laughs> do, you, so. do you like it neat, the whiskey? Uh, or? Yeah, sometimes neat, sometimes... Uh, Sometimes I like it a little messy, a little swell. I like it swell sometimes. Just a little, like one ice cube in there, and I, I like to sip it. I, uh, you know, I'll Is shoot swell it. Swell a real word for a drink? No, I think so. It's just like neat. It's like a synonym of neat. Oh, right. I love that swell. And they go, you got it. And they'll okay, wink cool. at you. Did you play sports? I had a dream last night where I was... Uh, I'll, I'll ask you a question, then I'll answer it first, yeah, yeah. if you don't mind. That's, uh, it takes the pressure off of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to get this out. I don't want to forget yeah. what I'm talking about. I I had a dream last night. I was I was playing baseball. I was on a team, and I was get, I was pitching. I was getting ready to warm up, and like it wasn't softball. It was like hardball, overhand pitching. And I remember like warming up. And, like, my shoulder was sore. I'm like, I don't Joe, what are you doing pitching? You can't pitch anymore. But I, I, whatever. It was in a dream. I, sorry. You were overhand right, pitching softball. That's a great softball. story. Yeah. Wow. No, overhand. It was a baseball, like oh, regular okay, hardball. Okay. But what did you play? Anything? I played soccer for uh, a few years. Yeah. And then I played football in high school for half a season. And then I, I just, I wasn't a fan of staying later at school than I had to. So I just kind of was like, meh. I get that. But, you know, I, still, um, I was scared of the locker room. I heard all these stories. I used to, <laughs> I watched that show, that movie, uh, not Rudy. What's the other one? Lucas. Did you ever see that one? Oh, yeah. Where the kid gets, they put, a nerd. Yeah. And they put Icy Hot in his helmet or something like that. And uh, they, they like really mess with him. <clears throat> yeah. But why? Were you that small and weak? I, I mean, I was just like, well, I was small and fat. Oh, okay. But it, I mean, I was, you know, like there was skinnier kids, but no, I just felt like, uh, I don't. I don't want to be there. Certain smells in the locker room. I'm like, ah, oh, this smells like, uh, you know, not b being at school too late. I gotcha. Yeah. Now, um, you do a lot of jokes where you do a, like play on word stuff. I love that. It's great, mm. right? Would you say that? Yeah, I think that's uh, it's fairly accurate. Did I ever give you? I think I might have mentioned this to you a couple years ago. I don't know if you ever used it or not. I don't think I did. Did you ever? Uh, what? I don't. Oh, sorry. I thought you said what you said. You said a couple years ago. You don't think you did? Yeah, it I don't was, remember. Because um, you haven't said it yet. That's why I, I, I told you the about the you know carpal tunnel syndrome, like in the from typing. Yeah, I told. Remember, I told you about carpool tunnel syndrome. Yeah. 
Did you ever do anything with that? No, but I like it. And that's funny because there's the, the correlation between the two. Like, they sound alike, but I'm not sure. Carpool tunnel. Was it like... Like what someone's the, riding in the car with you, and then you go in a tunnel. I, I mean, I don't know what to where to take it, but yeah, I think you could do something with it. It does sound like a like a like a syndrome, like the carpool tunnel syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Like be if, like, hey, you can't get in my car. Uh, I have to go yeah. through the tunnel on by myself or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because then you have then I'll have carpool tunnel syndrome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, <laughs> just, I mean, I think just, that's just uh, saying it. I think it? it's up your alley. I think honestly, just saying carpool tunnel syndrome is is the probably. And I mean, that's my but my forte is the laziest way to the punchline, or yeah. just have something so stupid and ridiculous to say that. You can just go, oh, you found, you found that funny? I don't have anything else. Yeah. And then you go right to that. Yeah, I like but, that. Yeah, the carpool tunnel. Yeah, I like how you uh, you deliver as well because you have, you know, you just kind of, they're not even throwaways. They're just like, they are what they are. Yeah. And if you catch them, they're, you, it's a joy. You know what I mean? But yeah. then it's also like, you have to go back and be like, oh, I mean, I missed this joke. You ever do that with shows? You go back and you're like, oh, I missed this joke. Yeah. Because you have so many that are layered in there. Anyways, yeah. I'm, just, oh, yeah. I'm giving like you a compliment. Like taglines and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do it my own way. Totally. I don't really have a kind of a style. I like to mix in different things. Um, okay, cool. So we do this thing here, too, where we have, like, brackets mm -hmm. of, like, food and beer and men good um, my three favorite things and yeah, yeah mine too yeah. now we're on we've been doing this men's bracket which is basically just actors mm -hmm. and uh i believe we are now in the semi-finals so you're gonna help us pick the winners oh shit okay don't freak out about it. Just uh it's there's, there's no pressure here yeah but i mean the semi-finals of anything is uh you know it's an honor just to... I, I love judging shit, so... This is okay. Important. Now, um, I don't think it was updated for us per se. Mm -hmm. What do you mean updated? Is there like... A, there's you have a, you have a team? Well, there, there's... <laughs> <laughs> working well, there's guys that write in. They mm. email the brackets. And... Uh, and then sometimes the personal... Um, what do you call it? Update it for us. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, but yeah, other times they don't. <laughs> it's at fifty fifty. Yeah, unbelievable. But yeah, the yeah the fans write in. They give us these brackets. Oh, that's it's cool. like everyone's seated, and then we pick them the winners best out of seven. Okay. So now, Aaron, I believe in the West. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the matchup. Aaron is like the moderator. We'll okay. Say the. All right, Aaron. Let's tackle the West Championship, and then we do the East Championship. So it's yeah, semi yeah. Okay. West Championship of the men's bracket. Oh, you want me to say the matchup? Yeah. I don't have that. Oh, all right. Yeah. So I. In front of me, I because it's not updated, but I remember what what it was seven yeah. seed versus eight seed actually, Sandro. Okay, yeah, a All couple right. of upsets. Oof. So for the West Championship here is number seven seed Johnny Depp against number eight seed Matt Damon. Mm. Mm. So now it's a best of seven. You got to pick the winner. Okay, and um. And then you uh, got to say why. And how many games? And Yeah, how many games. So I got to pick in how many games it would be best of? Yeah, so like, hey, Johnny Depp, 4-2, to two, yep. Matt Damon, 4-2, to two, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say Matt Damon. I would say Matt Damon. Is it 4-2 to two or 4-3? to three? Is it seven games? Well, I mean, it's how many you think Johnny Depp could win, you know, like oh, in a matchup. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm usually... Yeah, I mean, this is kind of tough. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of leaning Damon. I like Depp. I like yeah. Depp's stuff, but then when I think of Damon, to me, he's he's more current, 
and I've seen him do a variety of roles. Here's the thing. Yeah. I would say, and this is whatever category you put in, I would say Damon has made me laugh more than Johnny Depp has. And not all action heroes are funny. Not all actors are funny people. Yeah. Uh, so, and maybe Damon, and maybe, you know, Johnny Depp is a funny guy. I don't know. But. Uh, I think so. I think he's a funny I fun, mean, I don't know him, but I would imagine he's whimsical. got a pretty good sense of humor. Yeah, yeah whimsical. Yeah. That's a good uh, word. Yeah, I, I think that's. use a, that more. He should have dre- dressed up as Charlie, just the Willy Wonka at the trial. That yeah. would have been that would have been great. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna go Damon. I'm gonna say four three. I'm gonna say it's close. yeah, it's close. Uh, it's very very. Yeah, close. I think it's I think it's a super tight matchup here. Um, yeah, I mean, I just I guess I just like Damon's movies a little more. Mm-hmm. The Departed for me, like yeah, that was such a back and forth that I really enjoyed like that. And him and Wahlberg together, I thought were way better than I like imagined. Yeah, they really know. were. Um contentious. Now I know Johnny Depp is in uh now I, I, I this is one movie that I don't really remember. I don't know if I watched it beginning to end, but uh Donnie Brasco. I mm. know he's in that. I don't rem- do you remember that movie at all? I remember How good certain was he? parts. Yeah. He was good in that. I remember him being good. It, it seemed uh, that was one of the movies I kind of like missed or whatever. Yeah. Like I don't know. You can't. I mean, how do you see all these movies? Who's got the time, dude? There's too many. I don't even. I'm I, busy. No, I have. I have no idea what. Trailers even though that are movie out. came out 30 years ago, or whatever. But that's that's how busy you are. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. You can't go back retro 30 years. But you know, well, he was, was I going to watch that when I was nine? We were teenagers when it came out. So it's yeah, like, it's not our. Well, I was. Uh, I was probably like ten when it came out. When did that come out? Or early nineties, I would say. No, it was it was mid to late nineties. Think so? Yeah. Nine. I wouldn't say later than ninety five. I'd bet. I'll look it up. Right something now. on it. You got so Aaron. Nineteen ninety seven. Damn it! That late? Yeah. Damn. That's when I. That's when I graduated high school. Really? Yeah. yeah I'm two thousand two. Yeah. Yeah. So you're what forty four now? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna be forty in January. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad, man. It's just uh, you yeah, know, yeah. you you don't realize your age until you uh, do something you think you can do, and then, well, you, and then you can't. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is like sometimes <coughs> I'll look, I'll, I'll like hear an age, and I'll be like, like I'll be like, oh, thirty six. That person's thirty six. They're getting kind of old, and I'm like, <laughs> show you're thirty nine, you yeah. dick. Yeah, no. Yeah. I heard uh, when I found out Tyson Fury, that boxer. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know very much about him, but uh, he's like 35 or 36. And I'm like, you look like you're like 50. But then obviously you can't be 50. And oh, be a right. Boxer, yeah, so he does look old. But, you know. That's a good Maybe because he's also tall. Well, I always thought about that, like with professional athletes, too. Like you forget that these, a lot of them are like kids, they're in their early 20s. Yeah. And you're like 40, being like, "Hey, you're supposed to be doing this," and you got you, were, <laughs> yeah. you forget that these are like young people. Yeah, you're like, "Oh, how could you possibly blow so many millions of dollars?" Yeah. It's like you're 22 years old. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> um, all right, let's stay on topic, man. Yeah. Stop sidetracking. Sorry, me. what <laughs> happened here? So you said, uh, I "Yeah, did. I say Matt Damon I four did. to three Also, what did Aaron? What do you say for this? It's a clean sweep, guys. Uh, four to three, Matt Damon. I think. Johnny Depp had great stuff till mm-hmm. about the first Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just don't know what he's done lately. Oh yeah. three, everything since then has been kind of garbage. Yeah, uh, Matt Damon has not had that lull. He's been consistent the entire time. He started later. He's yeah, probably got about fifteen years uh, behind Johnny Damon, but or Matt Damon, not Johnny Damon. Again, we did that <laughs> last week. Yeah, Johnny um, Damon. But yeah, a Yankees and Red Sox guy. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's a Wade Boggs of our generation. Yeah. Jacoby Ellsbury. Because he went to the Red Sox. He did both. He, yeah, he did both. I remember Wade Roger Boggs Clemens, same thing. Name. Clemens. Yeah. Unbelievable. Wade Boggs is a great name. <clears throat> Interesting. So uh, what do you think uh, series numbers? Yeah, I think... Four to... I think it's four to three. Okay, yeah. yeah it's I think, tight. I think, yeah, Johnny Depp's career has... He's had some really good stuff. Fear yeah. and Loathing is great. Love it. Which uh, one? Fear and Loathing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot about That's Fear and Loathing yeah. in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's a little. That movie's a little too trippy for me. Oh, I but love he it. does it great. I mean, 
Yeah, yeah. Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. There was a story about Hunter S. Thompson wasn't happy that uh, Johnny Depp was playing him. Oh, isn't because that why? It's terrible. Well, because Hunter S. Thompson was like 6'2", and Johnny Depp is 5'9", so he thought that he wasn't like going to be like an you know an imposing figure or you know but uh but it worked out well Johnny yeah. Depp lived Hunter Thompson died so i think uh, <laughs> it worked out i believe i believe Johnny Damon Johnny is going to do it again Johnny Damon what are you freaking obsessed with <laughs> i'm not Johnny Damon <laughs> not a fan Why don't you marry him man uh, Johnny Depp paid for Hunter S. Thompson's funeral did he okay yeah yeah which which oh, man. included being shot out of a, his ashes being shot out of a rocket that's right oh really <laughs> yeah Holy shit, that's pretty Hunter's cool. Hunter's a weird dude. That was in his uh, will or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Hunter wow. Thompson was like a sports writer, too. Like, he would, like, report on, like, on races and whatnot and stuff. It's oh, so I bizarre. I knew that. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so we got Matt Damon in the championship, and who is he going to face? Uh, so in the East, it's going to be, yes, this is what it is. Number one seed, Brad Pitt. Mm. Versus number seven seed, Ryan Reynolds. That sounds right, Aaron, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he, he won. The, Those were the two. Job, That's yeah. a pretty good pitting. Yeah. Brad Pitt versus Ryan Reynolds, one versus seven. <sighs> hmm. I'm a fan of Ryan Reynolds. I like this. Again, he's an actor that seems goofy. And Me he too. Ma- yeah. He makes I you lo- laugh. You yeah. Know, he's what was your first? Uh, I almost said, what's, "What's your first Van Wilder movie that you've seen?" With what's your first Ryan Reynolds movie? Mine's Van Wilder. Yeah, yeah. Van Wilder, and then uh, probably Waiting. Yep, Waiting. Okay. Wait, Waiting was uh, is that Ryan Reynolds? Or yeah, that... he was the like the main server at the restaurant. That wasn't Dane Cook. Wasn't in that one. He was in that. He was in yeah, that too? he was the cook. Oh. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, the, the cook. Yeah, <laughs> Dane Cook it, was the cook. It didn't yeah. Dane on me until I, uh, <laughs> until you said the, he was the cook. <clears throat> it seems weird to have those two in the same movie. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Brad Pitt. I don't know. Brad Pitt almost seems like an actor where, like, you're like, name me an actor, and you're like, yeah, Brad Pitt. You know. Right. Um, which I like Brad Pitt's some later stuff when he got into his own. You know. Uh, early on, it was just the face, and he really wasn't acting. Well, yeah, it was much. just, hey, I'm a good-looking guy. Yeah. Blah blah blah. I can grow a beard and long hair or whatever. Yeah, which is difficult to do. It's tough. Yeah, and you know? then he, uh, yeah, like once upon a time in Hollywood, yeah. he was good. Um, well, w- well, once upon a time, everybody was good in Hollywood, you know, because like you have like one shot. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you have to be good, otherwise you're not going to make it. Yeah. Uh, but he was good in that. I, I thought that character was great. He was It's a guy you root for, and he wins in the end kind of a thing. And then he was in like one of those... What, what, was he in Bridges of Madison County? No. All right. Uh, <laughs> it was... Uh, well, he was in one of those weird <laughs> name movies. The River Runs Through. Yeah, it. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. The yeah, River I knew there was something involving geography. <laughs> That he was in, yeah. A river runs through what? No, if it was like what does a it run through. I know they never, they never told us. It runs rivers run through cities. I know that. Is that what it is? I think it is. It's a, it was a joke about. Uh, um, but was he in that? <laughs> yeah, he was, was in. It I good? think he was in River Runs Through It. Uh, was he in a war movie? In Glorious Bastards. Glorious Bastards. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah okay, he was yeah. good in that. And Fury he was as funny well. in that. Well, say what, Aaron? Fury as well. Was a war movie where he was a tank in a tank. Okay, oh, yeah. I don't think I saw Shia that one. Shia LaBeouf, I think, was in it too. Shia LaBeouf, he's a fun name to say. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So his name you... literally means shit the beef. It yeah. Does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not shy about it, but he is. I'm kind of. Yeah, I mean, because Ryan Reynolds, like, he could play, he did comedy, played a action star, or superhero, whatever, whatever you call uh, the Green Lantern or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's well, right. That was awful, though. Dead, the, dead, the, death pool? What Deadpool? What is it? Deadpool. Deadpool's good. Yeah, I mean, Brad Pitt didn't really play a superhero. I mean, I mean, I think Ryan Reynolds is f- funnier. I know mm-hmm. Brad Pitt can do comedy. Mm-hmm. There's a story I work with but this actor who said, uh, 
he he was in like you know bit parts or whatever. He said he worked with Brad Pitt the first time when he was super young, and he was working with him, and uh, and everybody was complaining on set to him that Brad Pitt didn't know his lines because yeah. he didn't know his lines or whatever, and he was just coming in, and everybody's like, you have to work even harder. So we told him, and he's like, hey man, you know, just letting you know, and he's like, oh thanks man. And he goes, and from that day on, he would like know his shit. And then afterwards, he was like, hey, thanks, Mr. C. I really appreciate you saying that. It was like a, you know, it seemed like he had a good... Uh, it's a good learning moment good learning moment. He was he was he didn't take himself too seriously. It seemed like, especially when you're a young actor, you know, the yeah. hottest guy in the world. His face just looks like wet vaginas. <laughs> so, you know, it's just... But... Um, so then he was like, hey, I have to try. Yeah, and he was actually... Uh, try. So that's... that. I think of that story, and I'm like, all right, well, that yeah, kind of weighs in nice. a little bit. Oh, man, I don't... <sighs> I mean, I'm well. See, that's a nice story now. It is. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I'm leaning. Yeah, yeah. It's, Who's it's, leaning a certain way, Aaron? Which way are you leaning? I'm going pit four two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Pit four two. Yeah. Okay. What, uh, what's convincing mm. for you? I just don't think Reynolds hasn't really done drama. Pitt's done drama. Pitt can do comedy. I mean, I'm sure Reynolds can do drama. He just really hasn't. That's true. That's a really else. good point. I've and, never you seen know, all things being equal, they're both good-looking guys, both fit guys. That's not really – that's a wash mm. kind of, but like – Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Pitt's just cool. Yeah, I mean – I mean, who's his lady now? I mean, Ryan Reynolds with Blake Lively, who's a, really just a sweetheart. Yeah. I don't so, know. I mean, I don't know her. But I don't I just, know. She just seems nice. Um – yeah, I don't know who Brad Pitt's with nowadays. Yeah, I probably I'd not get, Angelina, right? They broke up or whatever. No, they. Uh, yeah, they, I have no idea. Yeah, to be really, honest, yeah, it's really bad actually. <laughs> there, she's right. like suing him. There's this whole thing where they were on a plane, and uh, her son, the first one that she adopted uh, from Vietnam, he was acting up, and Brad may have. Smack the kid. Damn. Wow. Good which, morning, Vietnam. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> not how it's done today, but, you know, has worked in the past. Yeah. So right. Yeah. It's not a... I'm not ready to, to say he's a terrible person for that. Yeah. Jesus. Well, I mean, you know... What do you think in here? Any... Uh... Uh, my dad slapped me a couple times. No, not about that. Oh. About the uh, matchup. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to go with Aaron and go ah, see a things. I like Reynolds, but I do feel like when I think of action star for that same reason or movie star, I'm like, oh, you think, oh, you know, Brad Pitt or something, you know. But there's a reason for that because the guy. I also own a lot more Brad Pitt DVDs than Ryan Reynolds DVDs, oh, okay. but that's also because Brad Pitt was around more when I was buying DVDs. Yeah, sure. Um, but if there's a pit movie on, I'm more likely to be like, "Oh, let me check that out." Ryan Reynolds, I think, is very funny. But the drama aspect of Pitt, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, seven, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. imagine Seven with Ryan Reynolds. That's right. We did talk about Seven last so, week too. Yeah, yeah, I forget about Seven. Damn, I'd have to go four two. Yeah, I That's, mean, I could see I have, Pitt I getting it. it. I mean, I just, I kind of want to give Ryan Reynolds uh, a victory here just to. He's, Get him he's, on the board. He was a seven. He's overcome a lot of odds. He's he's beaten, he's beaten good actors. So yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to say Ryan Reynolds wins four to three, but Brad Pitt advances because you guys, and I I, I would go along with that anyway. It's going to mean a lot to Ryan Reynolds as well, you know. Yeah. Because he's going to you know he'll come come across this. I'm going to send him a clip. Yeah, I want him to know that he, I I voted for him. Yeah. All right. So here's the championship of the men's bracket. From the representing the Western Conference, number eight seed Matt Damon taking on the East champion, number one Brad Pitt. Mm. Matt Damon versus Brad Pitt. Wow. That's huge. I mean, Matt Damon being an eight and Brad Pitt, I like, I think Matt Damon really wants to. Make a statement here. He's like, "Hey, man, I, there's no way I'm this low, and you're all the way up there." Yeah, I think he's coming in with a chip on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's probably like a, a kale chip or something like that. But still, you know, <laughs> yeah, he takes care of himself. Still a chip. Yeah. 
I don't know, man. Like, I feel like, I mean, they're both contemporary, which is a word, it means like right now, right? So basically, like, they're both in it right now. They're so relevant. Yeah. Oh, man, that's huge. Have they, or have they ever been in a movie together? Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Oh. Okay. All, all of those Ocean's Eleven. That's right. So, and I was going to say, that's that's what I was originally going to say about Matt Damon uh, when against the Johnny Depp, which is that, like, Matt Damon could still hold his own and then some in those movies. You with, know? The, with the other actors. With the other actors, yeah. the big names. He was, you know, it was it was a flow. It wasn't like super ham-fisted where they're like, hey, we're a bunch of, you know, we're, we're here because we make money. Yeah. He was funny, and it was... Uh, and I thought Pitt was good in that movie too. You know, he was a good guy who was always eating food and had indigestion, which I thought was a nice little touch. It's a relatable thing. Yeah, uh, that's huge. What do you, is this something? Is this a, we're speculating? Or are you actually are we going games to games here with this semi this final? What do you mean? I mean, is it? Was the object to get to the final of this, or are is we, it? No, just it, yeah, we, we want to pick a winner. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. What Aaron? What'd you say? I said, "Are we adjudicating this now, or, or it's a good previewing word. for next time?" I had no, no, no. We're we're picking it. Yeah. Now. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. The only time I heard the word adjudica- adjudicated was when I got uh, adjudication withheld from my criminal record. I was going to say it sounds like something I'd hear in court. Yeah. When I well, I had weed when I was uh, eighteen, oh, and then I got you, right away got busted you, for it in Florida. You son of a. I, dude, I was I was rebelling back then. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't realize how terrible marijuana was for you. So now I I don't I don't do it um, unless I'm driving. Because <laughs> it's just not re- it's reckless to be in public. That's true. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. I'm always passing by when I walk my dog at night. I'm always passing by, you know, twenty somethings in their car smoking weed. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it's literally the only place you can't smoke weed. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, you can still get in trouble for that. I think yeah. people still want to have that taboo with it, you know, because it makes them feel like uh, like they're getting away with something. Oh, right. It can't be too easy. Yeah, they're bringing the, the criminal <laughs> aspect to it's it. It's the one place you're not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be here. Um, That's a tough one, man. Yeah, it is. I, I mean, yeah, I like how you... Yeah, because like in The Departed, yeah, Matt Damon isn't like a side, like, you know, you still see him like with the big guns, like... yeah. Him and Alec Baldwin going at it. Yeah, him yeah. and Leo. Uh, I mean, he played a great like asshole in that movie. Huge prick, yeah. Because he was, uh, you know, the shady cop. He was. What was his name? Jack Nicholson. He was his inside guy in the police force. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Which goes to show you, people with a lot of stuff to hide typically will be dicks, and that's. Where he got, I feel like that's where that character was. You know, he was always worried about somebody finding anything about him. Yeah. So he was very off-putting on purpose, and just very defensive. You should be off-putting. I, no, I love Sorry. pudding. Um, I've, I've been gaining weight, so I gotta, I gotta quit that shit. Um. I, I'm gonna say Matt Damon four to three. I'll take the lead here on this. Matt Damon four three. <clears throat> yeah, wow. wins it. I I just like, yeah, I, I like the, the Departed. To me, is a fantastic movie. Uh, I always liked uh, Rounders. I I just his movies to me are just more imprinted in my brain than Brad Pitt movies. Hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. And what was the other one we, you said before? Uh, oh yeah, I really liked The Martian. Martian was great. I mean, yeah, I just don't have a movie where with Brad Pitt where I'm just like, oh man, yeah, that's such cool movie. I like he's done stuff, but uh, yeah, Brad, you've done stuff, so take mm-hmm. that compliment. That's all he needs. But yeah, I just, uh, I mean, he was in that one Burn After Reading, that one Coen Brothers movie. I liked that one. I thought the, that was kind of weird. Yeah, it was like a weird movie. But he wasn't in it very long, right? I mean, wasn't there like he played a, like a goofy like it was na- like a neighbor workout guy? guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, some yeah. So for me, it's freaking Matt Damon, man. Okay, I like that. Uh, oh, which is what's, what's my camera, by the way? This one. <laughs> yeah, that okay. one. I should have asked you a couple. Yeah, minutes thanks ago. for asking. Forty-five minutes in. Well, I don't want to. We're actually almost an hour. Well, in. I don't want to assume anything. All right, so I'm gonna go. Huge shock here, but. I like Pitt, but when you bring up Rounders, and also he's with one of my favorite actors of all time, was uh, John Turturro. 
Oh, they were saying John Malkovich. But yeah, John, oh, John Turturro's in that, I too. I forgot yeah, he's in that, great. too. Yeah, he's great. He plays that line. He goes, last time I'm up 20 grand from last time yeah, I he stick played, it he, in you. Yeah, he's uh, KGB. Yeah. Check, check, check. That's right. Yeah. And he was uh, in cahoots with the guy who played Jackie April in Sopranos, who went by Grandma in Rounders. Oh, yeah, that yeah, guy. I yeah. I forgot the guy's name. But, yeah, that uh, guy was a cool actor, Yeah, he's too. a good I one. like that guy. Sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna follow you, man. Four three. I'm gonna go Damon. Thanks. Damon has like another. I love Pitt. I love them together. But Damon movies. I don't know what it is, man. There's like a certain lightness to him. Yeah. Uh, but he also can be good, like dramatic. I don't know. There's something that movie. Uh, I think he's got more of an everyman appeal. Like Brad Pitt's just. I could see that too. Like yeah. oh, I'm pretty. Or it's true. Yeah. What do you think, Aaron? I might have to go with you guys, four to three. I think they both have pretty solid careers. They both have a clunker here or there. Mm -hmm. We bought a zoo. Mm -hmm. Matt <laughs> Who bought a zoo? <laughs> yeah. That was Matt Damon. Matt Damon that bought a Matt zoo. Damon, yeah. And then he made a movie about it, which was, uh, I thought was like a crazy. little... Crazy, yeah. yeah. Dude, the Bourne movies. I didn't even think about this. I love those movies. They're the movie where you yeah, watch the guy, you root for him to kick ass, and then he just does that. It's like a thing where, like, you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'd have to go 4-3 for sure, yeah. Plus, yeah, I, I think, think I'd so. want to hang out with Matt Damon. Yeah. They're both Oscar winners, mm. but Damon for writing, not for acting. Really? For Good Will Hunting? Yeah, Brad uh, Pitt, Best Supporting Actor. I didn't know he, okay. For Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, although Brad, Brad Pitt produces a lot of movies, too. Uh, Plan B, his his production company. Uh, I didn't oh yeah, I've heard oh, that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Huh. I I think I'm gonna go Damon though too. I think I think four to three is is. Uh, I mean, he's shocking the world. He's an eight seed, which we yeah disagree great. with an eight seed to begin with. But uh, yeah, taking down Brad Pitt here. Yeah, Matt Damon, the yeah. champion. I also I saw him at the airport once, so that yeah. helps. Yeah. What was he? Was he getting bags and stuff? Yeah, I mean, he was, like, going through security, so he's just, like, you know, he's, like, the dude. common folks. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Matt Damon, congratulations on winning the men's bracket. Yeah. It doesn't I'm, even feel like an upset, to be honest no, with you. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Because when I mean, he, he got, together, I mean, he maybe struggled in the regular season, but once he got to the playoffs, he's, like, put his nose to the grindstone. He's yeah. like, here we are. Yeah, even Eli Manning uh, accidentally won two Super Bowls, <clears> so. <throat> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm really taking down the. Uh, You're drinking a lot. Here. Yes. Well, I'm thirsty. No, I get, I can't do this. And then I have like stuff in my throat. All this talking, man. I mean, can we stop talking for a minute? No. No, you really can't. No, that's you the can't. thing about a podcast. They, they call yeah. it dead air. Yeah. Which is, I think, like I don't know. I think that's a little uh, dramatic. Yeah. I got something. If you want to take a little break. What? I tried the uh, Taco Bell breakfast tacos this morning. Okay, yeah. What's the verdict? Oh, I haven't boy. had those yet. Well, Pete Davidson can shove it up his ass. They're not good. Damn. Oh, yeah, he does. Well, I had much. the, to, to be fair, I had the one, they were like, do you want sausage, bacon, or potatoes? I went potatoes. So I was trying to keep it a little light. Yeah, I can see that. Sausage, I, bacon. I usually like potatoes. Uh, yeah, but I could have gone with either of those and probably been happier. This was, they were, they were bland as shit. And what they're missing, the crunch wrap, the, the breakfast crunch wrap has a sauce with it. Mm. Is that it gives, good? Gives it a little tang, yeah. Okay, I haven't and this had was that. definitely missing that. I haven't so. had the breakfast, dude. Later. The I'm chicken not... sausage burritos at Trader Joe's just that's that's all you need. I don't know. About okay, that. we're, that's a diversion. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking Taco Bell here. <laughs> so I don't know if you're if you're the type of person who puts who can dab hot sauce on everything. I guess that probably worked yeah, out. Yeah, you for probably you. have to do that. Yeah, but I'm generally eating while driving, so. <laughs> I need to be compact and uh, and be and for it to all be there, and it wasn't. That sucks. Yeah. What, what what's this chicken sausage burrito? Is they that have, a real thing? They have yeah, they have this thing at Trader Joe's. Is it's that a, good? It's a breakfast. Surprisingly, dude, I I eat it and uh, you can dip a little if you're at home. You know, you can have it on the go. It's got enough flavor, but also you can like dip ranch. Uh, I haven't had any spicy stuff in a, in a while now because I'm trying to get the the reflux. To, yeah, I don't do too much spicy anymore. Yeah. But this is nice. It's uh. It's like chicken sausage, little little balls of, of sausage, and it's got eggs, and it's got potatoes, and it's, you know, it's very uh, filling. What's your, if you do fast food, yeah. what do you like? In-N-Out. 
Okay, yeah. I could see that one being like the you know the the best of all evils, whatever that saying we is. We sleep on In and Out here. I don't really mm -hmm. talk about it that much. Um, are they on? I don't know if they are because I do Uber Eats. They might not even be on there. Yeah, it's. A good I don't question. think no. I don't think they are. I they, think there's always a huge fucking line there. That's yeah, why that's I think the maybe thing. that's why I sleep on they it. Probably don't do it. Um, also, I don't have a car. Aaron mm -hmm. is a doesn't really like In and Out. I think I think he's more of a Five Guys guy. Yeah, the fries are absolute trash. Yeah, Five Guys is great. If I could do a. Uh, Actually, there's probably less people at the Five Guys, but I, I prefer Five Guys to In N Out. But I almost feel like Five Guys isn't even a fast food. I almost feel like they actually will cook the burgers. I feel like In N Out is just making them, you know, ahead of time a little bit. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, Five Guys is you're gonna be, you're gonna spend 15 bucks for for a meal versus In N Out. You know, you might get around seven. So yeah. There is that, but the fries are absolute trash. Dude, the bag of fries at In and Out or uh, um, Five Guys. Yeah. Is, I love that like oil stain on the bottom. It's just oh, yeah. nice. Oil. Yeah. Yeah. And the bags are plastic. So no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not the. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a uh, Joe code for this week, guys. Um, I, I I couldn't really come up with one. It was hard to think of one. I was like, where am, where am I going with Joe code? Um, but I guess it's just, um, I, I guess I'm just going to say commemorate fond memories. You know, yesterday, so today we're recording, this is November 3rd. Um, on November 2nd, which was yesterday, 2016, seven years ago, um, on my Instagram, I was reminded, and of course I'll always remember, it was the, the day the Cubs finally won the World Series. And every year, November 2nd, I always remember that. So if you have fond memories like that, always remember to look back on those and, you know, take a minute to be like, man, that was a great time and just a lot of fun. For some people. Yeah, for some people. <laughs> um, and then I'll do uh, my This Is Great here. And This Is Great is uh, free parking if you go to SoFi Stadium, Okay. I'll let this out of the bag. I should probably keep it secret. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be broadcasting this, but I will because I I, I want to give to the people. So if you go to SoFi Stadium, uh, what should I pay? Fifty dollars to park? Sixty dollars to park? No, how about zero? Okay. So well, this is at least if you go to an NFL game because it was on Sunday. So. There is a Vaughn's grocery store in Englewood about 10 minutes from the stadium. Uh, and on that street, there are a bunch of parking meters. And on Sunday, they are off. It's free of charge on Sunday. And there's a whole bunch of them wide open for some reason. You park at those meters... It's literally a 10-minute walk to SoFi Stadium. Great stuff. Free parking. You kidding me? Unreal. Pretty good stuff. That's a good life hack for you. You're or welcome. You, you are leaving your car in Inglewood, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's parked there at your own risk. Nobody's watching your car, but whatever. It's freaking free. It worked out for us, and uh, that's cool freaking shit. It's a way better tip than telling somebody where to use a public bathroom because now you can actually stop your car and not have to worry about getting a ticket while you're looking for a public bathroom. You can also piss in a bottle in your car. Yeah, yeah. So that's a great tip, man. That's really nice of you to do that. Yeah, I like that. Um, all right. Uh, we'll do a few emails here, Sandro. Mm. Because uh, we get emails from the fans. Do you have to go? or No, I you, like emails. All right, we're not going to get... Yeah, yeah we're you, gonna, you know, take one. your time. Okay, so uh, everyone, reminder here. Remember, you could email me here at joecodepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, also, don't forget I'm on Cameo. You could book me on there for a good time. Are you on Cameo? With the with Guido. Guido, yeah. yeah, with the, yeah. Do you do, uh, get a good amount of things? It's pretty pretty decent amount. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little hiatus now, which is nice, because what you do is you make yourself available for a short period of time, and then, you know, people will come at you. Oh, yeah, so you once kind you're of on. Build, yeah. You build intrigue. I like that. Yeah. 
And also, don't forget, join the Patreon uh, for just $2 a month to support Joe Code Podcast at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Joe Code Podcast. All right, let's get into, we've got just a few, looks like three or four new emails here. Uh, This one coming in from Josh. All right, so Josh says his, the subject is CBRFBS. Okay, we'll, we'll get to what that means in a second. Hi, Joe. Day one listener here. First and foremost, thank you for the hogtastic cast. Love the pod. Your mellow energy and observations on life make Mondays slightly less dreadful. Nice. All right, let me take you back to the wonderful days of 2010. Do you recall the Taco Bell flatbread sandwich? No. No. Specifically, the chicken bacon ranch flatbread sandwich. Okay, that's the what the initials were on the mm. subject. Oh, okay. Um, they brought it back briefly in 2016, but sadly I missed it. Perhaps they weren't as good as I remember. Sure. Am I simply pursuing the nostalgia of a much simpler time in my life? Absolutely. But that item was my introduction to Taco Bell, and I've been chasing the dragon ever since. Uh, well, they have other good items. Mm. What was that? Uh, on another note, I'm also a product of the Midwest, and as such, I have some white trash tendencies. Mm. One of which is that I genuinely enjoy some gas station hot foods. Ooh, that's trashy. Yeah, it's trashy. I'm not talking about hot dogs. That's a different level of scum. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, that's what I picture when I think hot gas station food. So I'm glad he cleared that up. Uh, But some gas stations have some decent items. Like cheesy breadsticks, chicken nuggets, matzah sticks, and more. The pod has inspired me to visit all major gas station brand stores and come up with a food bracket and tier list. Mm. Do you have any go-to spots when you're on the road to pick up a quick snack? Any favorite items? Much love, Josh. Yeah, so Josh came up with a tier of gas stations. Starting at the bottom, uh, ass stations Mm. are BP Cenex, C-E-N-E-X. I've never heard of that one. Marathon, Mobile, and Shell. Here, I'll put it up on the screen. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Marathon, Mobile, and Shell. Shell's the top one? No. No, those are all at the bottom. Oh, those are the bottom. Oh, okay. okay, And then he's got the C level of 7-Eleven and Speedway. And then the B level is come and go, mm. which I remember from Iowa. And I believe this other one is holiday, probably. I don't know what that is. And then Casey's and holiday. I don't know that quick trip I've seen as well. There at the top, the S bracket. Mm-hmm. Casey's and holiday A, come and go B. I get what is S superior, but. Yeah, I haven't heard of some of these, but I, I mean, if I'm like on a road trip or something, I, I'll, I'll go for like, I mean, I don't have a go-to spot. I'll go whatever with whatever's there, whatever the convenience shop or gas station is. But I like Chex Mix or Combos. Like, That's a good, Like yeah. uh, pepperoni pizza combos specifically. Or I don't speaking, know speaking directly to my heart, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you like those? The pizza ones oh yeah yeah those are great and those then, are flavorful yeah and then Chex Mix I like um yeah those are what are your snacks you like uh I'll go with uh I'll go with like any trail mix that has chocolate in it because oh, yeah, just you know good. that that's a good move the Chex Mix is awesome I love that I love any kind of like a mix yeah mixes uh, are good especially on the road that you can just pop them in your mouth you know like Aaron was saying you can't dip very frequent or very efficiently when you're driving yeah plus it's like a ritual to dip stuff in stuff so yeah the Chex Mix the the mixed nuts are good and then maybe like a Snickers bar ice cream sure oh yeah yeah that's nice yeah. all right here's one from our boy Sky God 2000 Matt is his name 
Uh, big news. Joe, today, October 30th, marks nine years since I lost my mom. Oh, well, congratulations. What, what? Yeah. <laughs> big news. Almost 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to think that it's been nearly a decade since she left us. It feels like it was just yesterday. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you because for me, it's three years. Not having mm. a mom sucks. And yeah, I know. And especially <laughs> sucks during important life events, birthdays, weddings. And now she's missing out on being a grandmother to my kid. Yeah, that, that stuff's really annoying. Mm. Not for me. I don't have kids, but for my brother and sister. They have kids? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't have. Yeah, kids. I mean, my there are, doesn't have kids either. But you guys don't have kids at all. No, I don't have any kids. Not anymore. I don't have the kids. They got taken away from me. Um, Due to the. No, I just gave them away. Oh yeah. But I tell people I, they take them away because it doesn't make me seem like such a shit parent. <laughs> uh, okay, so being around the way. That's right. I'm going to be a dad, and you're going to have a new coder in April 2024. Congratulations, Matt. Congrats, um, man. That's awesome. I have a question for you and a question for Aaron. Uh, Joe, what is one thing your dad did when you were growing up that made him a great dad? Uh, parentheses, Aaron can answer this as well if he wants to. Sure. Aaron, what is your favorite part? And this is for Aaron. What a Aaron, what is your favorite part about being a father? Coders, give your mom a hug and tell them you love them. That's uh, very nice to say sky god thank you um so one thing for me that made him a great i mean my dad was just always there and just a great support for all of us like he was always uh you know rooting us on me and my brother and sister and would always uh you know never let us down just was always there and supporting us you know financially working and making sure we had a, a good life and uh you know coached our sports teams so yeah just was always there and you know always supported us and still does to this day so he's uh it's beautiful yeah it's great great job dad we'll have to we'll give you a call again on the pod sometimes so you could talk shit to me <laughs> um <laughs> what about you uh, well, I, I just lost my, my dad yeah, last year. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, no, no, it sucks. I, you, and it's a weird thing, too. You never really know how to... Uh, and I never said... I don't know if I reached out to you, but it's such a weird thing when, like, if it doesn't if it doesn't happen to you, you really don't know the extent of it. Yeah, it sucks kind of ass. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, but he, was, he always left us with this... Uh, because he always supported us. Uh, he was a plumber, so he always busted his ass doing everything physical. Nice. And but he always had time to still take us to like soccer practice. He coached the team for a couple nights because the coach wasn't there, so he just took it upon himself. Um, yeah, he was a super good dude, super supportive, uh, and he's the reason why to this day, if I see a nail or a screw near any kind of roadway, yeah. I pick it up and throw it as far as I can away from it. He's the type of guy you'd be like, ah, somebody's going to run over yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Puncture their tire. Yeah, That's so awesome. he would always, yeah. Cool. Aaron, what about, um, well, well, yeah, you could answer both. Yeah, yeah. One thing my, about your dad, and then what's your favorite part about being I mean, the, uh, my dad was always at our, at my stuff too, uh. Though he's he's kind of critical <laughs> and grumpy. <laughs> Aaron's so. dad passed a few years ago, also. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I won't say that, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, he did uh, completely bust his ass. Like, uh, had two jobs at one point, just trying to keep keep things going, mm. and uh, you know, the work ethic is really what I. You know, he, he would come home from work and still have, you know, be doing stuff around the house. And it's almost like he never sat down. I know he totally did. He watched, you know, he, he loved Westerns and stuff like that. But, like, um, always, you know, always moving. Yeah. One uh, thing about the baby boomer generation you got to give them is they're, they're hardworking as, he mm -hmm. as all heck. I mean, they're yeah. just nonstop. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing him come out of his truck when he would get home or get a ride home or somebody. Many times, he couldn't even, like, he had to crawl out of the truck backwards because his back was so Jeez. messed up. 
And then he would go to work like two days later or a day later and then just never complain. It was just, yeah. That's great. Yeah. My dad would come home bleeding. <laughs> not even know it. He'd just be like, oh, man. Dad, you're bleeding. It's like all the way down your arm. He's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, so, yeah if you, sometimes that happens with your elbow. You don't even know, and that's like yeah. all the way here. And then, Aaron, what's your favorite part about being a father? Uh, I mean, you know, just now that she's old enough and she's super affectionate, it's just like having that little kid appreciate you is is uh, is awesome. Yeah, that's um, sweet. You know, we were playing softball last night and getting the shit kicked out of us, playing probably the worst softball I've ever played. Oh man. Personally and as a team. That's tough. Um in front of your in front of your kid? Yeah, mm -hmm. what the only game she's come to and since she's been born. Oh, I guess you can't team. handle the pressure, Aaron. Yeah, no, it wasn't that at all. <laughs> Daughter it, just, being. it just wasn't our night. The entire if it was just me, I'd be like, Yeah, of course, but uh no, it was everybody. Uh, but then she she just constantly in the later innings just came out kept coming over and saying, you know I want to give you a hug and I was just like oh, oh, this is, oh that's cool it's exactly what I need even though I feel like complete and utter garbage right now. Uh, I find yeah. it so disrespectful when somebody says oh man they just lobbed you a softball softball's not easy no it fucking hurts you gotta no, you still gotta hard. exert yourself and, yeah. it's, and it's it's harder because the it's balls hard you have ball. to hit the ball even harder yeah jackasses yeah. All right, here's one uh, from Matt. We got this one and one more. Uh, food, beer, and men is subject. Mm. Hi, Joe and Aaron. I recently had my bachelor party in St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, do you know that place? I know that place, Where's yeah. that? Very humid. It's about three hours from anywhere you need to be in Florida. I mean, that's interesting that yeah, he but did it's a that. cool spot, though. Um, <laughs> and after a few beers, my friends and I started digging into some food talk. We were on the topic of hot dogs and tacos. And my friend Eric, spelled A-R-E-K, what's going on with that? Yeah. That's nice. I knew a guy named... Whoa. Him. Yeah. We might that's have to, that's we might a have little to stop the podcast. contrived. Yeah. You know? Unless he's super foreign. Yeah, it could be could Norwegian, be that, I yeah. guess, right? Yeah, if he's like... Arik? If he's like from the Middle East or something. Seems like yeah, R -E, mm, you true. go to shop at R-E-I yeah. or something. A-R-I-Q-U-E would I think have been a better uh, <laughs> spelling. Eric. All right, my friend Eric. Okay, so we were on the topic of hot dogs and tacos, and my friend Eric claims that a hot dog is a taco. Oh, boy. This friend of mine is a very intelligent dude, and he made some very valid points on how a hot dog could be considered a taco. I am still not fully convinced of this, which is why I wanted to bring this to your attention, Joe, as you are a superb spokesman of food, beer, and men. Please let me know your thoughts on this. Best regards, Matt. Hmm. No, a, a taco, are you kidding me? A hot dog is not a taco. They don't even spell this. I mean, what you could do, like, and I used to work with a lot of uh, Mexicans. I've seen them chop up little hot dog and put them, like, on tacos. Mm -hmm. But a hot dog itself, that that is not a taco. What are you even no. freaking talking about? You no, a taco necessitates a tortilla mm -hmm. or a taco shell at the very worst a bun is not either of those things yeah even if you chop up a hot dog and put it in a taco it's a taco with a hot dog in it yeah it's like if a, you had a hot dog bun and put like i don't know ta uh taco like uh you know steak and onions and stuff that's not that wouldn't be a taco no. yeah it's like if a, a quesadilla then could be a, a considered a, a covered pizza yeah, yeah, could, yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I want them all now. Be whatever, wherever the debate is. I want a taco, a hot dog, and a quesadilla. I'll eat it. Pizza. Yeah, I mean, whatever <laughs> it is, we'll eat it. Uh, but yeah, what is it, then? A grilled cheese is a quesadilla, then, or you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a it's a savory French toast. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's the last email. Uh, this is from Luke Pod Q. Hey, Big Joe scenario for you for you here you are the gm of your horrid chicago bears hey man god do you know you don't read these ahead of time do you well so they, sometimes they, they you. do but this one i really didn't oh man oh this one seems to cut a little deep here uh mm -hmm. not deep but it's just uh sure. it's not exactly lighthearted. Mm -hmm. scenario for you here you are the gm of your horrid chicago bears player a and player b Express interest in joining your team, but you can only pick one. 
Who do you choose based on this blind 2023 stat line slash personal legal history? Name reveal at the bottom of this email. Ooh. Hmm. Player A, 44 receptions, 691 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, In 2018, Player A was charged for reckless driving, being clocked going 113 miles per hour in a 65-mile-per-hour work zone since the incident he is clean. Player B, 61 receptions, 1,014 yards, eight touchdowns. In 2014, Player B pleaded guilty to an incident in which he beat up and choked his pregnant girlfriend. In 2019, Player B's off-the-field instance continued in which he was accused of child abuse. Okay, specifically breaking his four-year-old son's arm? He was never found guilty. Okay, and then we scroll down. Um, Who do you choose based on that? I mean, I yeah, I would choose Player A, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the stats um, aren't as good, but they're not a... Yeah, I mean, I mean speeding, speeding is... Speeding is fun. People have done a lot of people, but mm-hmm. yeah, that. Oh wow! So I guess this is actually real. I, I didn't know this, but player A is DJ Moore, who is like the best player on the Bears mm-hmm. right now. He's great. Wow. Player B is Tyree Kill, apparently. Yeah. I didn't know that. Did you know that about him, Aaron? Yeah, I think so. I think that came out. Wow. Damn, that's prior to or after the Super Bowl. That's bad. But that's uh, yeah, and that's not something that I've heard myself and no, i watched, I didn't I know watched that. sports so yeah, I i'll guess... take dj more all day yeah but... especially after knowing that yeah but okay. tyreek hill is that good that you don't they don't even care i i yeah well here now he says are we as nfl fans morally flawed for worshiping a player for being able to run really fast with a ball while forgetting how much of a garbage human garbage human being he has been off the field uh, do we forgive and forget because he can run really fast with a ball? Mm-hmm. If you be, if you beat up a prego in your past, I would def not listen to your pod, even though you say funny things in a microphone. Do we prioritize wins over sins when in sports? Where do we draw the line, Joe? Mm-hmm. Keep up the good work, Luke. P.S. Please go watch a season of Breaking Bad per week and do a five-minute review per episode. <laughs> Blows my mind that you've never seen the best show in the history of mankind. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Um, yeah, I mean, that, well, yeah, that's how people are with sports. People are like obsessed with them mm-hmm. to where they'll, you know, they they'll give people, you know, they'll they'll forget past transgressions. Uh, yeah, because they're freaking obsessed with sports. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, if someone's a shitty person like that, I I don't want them on my team. Mm. Yeah, man. But yeah, people people nowadays have such short attention spans. Someone does something wrong, they they don't even they don't even remember it. I just think that like I personally, I don't I almost feel like it's none of our business. Now, if he was slapping his pregnant girlfriend while he was playing football on the field, you know, then I'm like, "No, you got to do one or the other." Yeah. But don't bring your pregnant girlfriend to a football game because it's like a lot of noise. So, <laughs> You know, but at the same time, you know, people elect uh, politicians and they don't give a shit what they do, and they're the ones in charge of their money. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, there's like a certain veil you put over just to enjoy something. Sure. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. But uh, yeah, I, I'll take DJ Moore any day. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a good dude. Um. Yeah, something does seem to off about Tyreek Hill. So that I mean, I not not to be like, hey, yeah, I'm sure of course he did that stuff, but sure. DJ Moore's a good dude. Um I mean, concussions do a hell of a thing to your head, so Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, man. There's a lot of shit that's coming out with that now that you know, like it just really affects you in a way that and it makes sense. I bump my head. I anytime I every time I've ever bumped my head, I get angry instantly. <laughs> Which is like, you know, you're not supposed to bump your brain. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> um, all right, Aaron, let's just do a couple comments, and then we sure. can uh, wrap it up here. Yeah, I don't think we have uh, too, too many. I think we just got a few, yeah. 
All right. Uh, These are the YouTube comments on the episodes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Last okay, week cool. we did a bracket of all uh, all people named Aaron. Oh, Aaron, how did you like? Did you see the name of the last episode? He, uh, I I am just seeing it now. Aaron Brakovich. <laughs> you like <laughs> that? That's beautiful. Very funny. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Fuck great. yeah. <laughs> that, that would win the bracket if we if, if it was in there. Yeah, I thought that was uh, a fun name. In into house says uh, Aaron Hernandez got snubbed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a hard dis <laughs> hard disagree on that. Yeah, I was I was thinking of him, but I'm like, yeah, no, he wouldn't he wouldn't make it too far in the bracket. No, he's not gonna hang around for very long. Yeah, uh, Will Sauerbrunn, the original bracketologist. Oh says, yeah, uh, Will. Joe, I was going to give you a Halloween candy bracket, but I don't mind. But if you don't mind going to the store and picking out a couple of variety packs. And doing a live draft instead, that would be appreciated. Should take you a couple seconds. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, that would be fun. I'm not a big candy guy, but... Uh, Adam David says, what a shit bracket. Not because of Joe and Aaron, but because of selections and seatings. Hats off to Joe and Aaron for making entertaining. Uh, get a freaking grip, Brandon. <laughs> Which one was that? That's I assume that's the Aaron bracket still. Oh, okay. Uh, Sky Guy 2000 says, uh, tough loss for the Bears. He's a, he's a Canadian uh, Bears fan now. Uh, the Saints don't stand a chance Sunday, though. Would you rather win the World Series? Oh, who would you rather win the World Series between Texas and Arizona? Uh, also, he says in a second comment, also the, the, Br the Burger King song freaking slaps. <laughs> yeah. Which is true. Yeah, it does. Um... Yeah, thanks for being a Bears fan, and I like your optimism going into this Sunday with the Saints. Um, yeah, I mean, that World Series, I didn't really have a fair... I mean, I thought it was a cool World Series either way. Um, I guess the Diamondbacks would have been a great story just because they had the the worst record of the playoff teams. Yeah. So if they would have won it, that would have been really amazing. Yeah, I don't remember it getting publicized as much as uh, when the Cardinals won it. Uh, they won one less game than Diamondbacks and won it in 2006. But so they were, what, 83 and 79? 83 and 81, right? Isn't that how it works? Wow. That's so many games. Yeah. No, but, 162. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, 83 and... JT is 79. calling yeah, me right, right now. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to sabotage my podcast. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, I'm doing I would, my I podcast. Like... I got to call you back. Are you in the middle? Yeah, I mean, I'm wrapping things up. Put me on speaker. Yeah. I, I got something to say to the to the Joe coders out there. All right, okay. what? Say it fast. We gotta go. When are you gonna come over and see the kiddos, dude? You're the freaking god. Yeah, father. okay, man. I will. Whatever. Just. Jeez. I got. Well, call me. I think we could do it tomorrow. I'll, come I'll, over. I'll get some food. I'll call you back. Oh, be, yeah. There better be food, man. Food. All right, yeah, love, love you. you. Good luck on the code. Yeah, love you. What? Um. What were we just talking about? Uh, series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Diamondbacks would have been cool. Yeah, Diamondbacks um, are the lower pay oh, payroll by oh, far. Oh, yeah. I wanted so. to say, I, well, I, I like Bruce Bochy a lot. I'm really happy for him. Yeah. He's a great manager. Got his fourth title. I mean, That's he's awesome. one of, like, six managers ever that have won that many. Um, so good for him. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, Alan Swanky says, I, I think he wants me to pronounce this a certain way. Anise. Black licorice has the mm. flavor of anise. It's At, great. Like anisette. Anisette? Which is like a, yeah, like licorice, kind of like a, there's a uh, thing called an, an, an it's like a anise, so it's like a little yeah. plant or whatever, a bulb that they get the anisette from, like a licorice flavor. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought I thought he was trying to get me to say anus in some way. <laughs> but then he said it was well, great. Well, you did. So. Um, Brandon Tyler did his thing. We thank you so much. And then thank you, Brandon. Tanner Klonoshik says, Hey, Joe, just moved to Austin. Was wondering if you had any food recommendations. I'm curious what comedy club you used to work when you were there. Yeah, I mean, go to Terry Black's or get any barbecue. It's fantastic down there. Um... I didn't work at a club when I was there. Um, my friends run the comedy mothership um, that it is open now that I most likely would have worked at 
when it o had opened, but I had already left town. Um, yeah, my friends Curtis and Jody are the managers there. But, uh, yeah, no, I congrats on the move. Hope you enjoy it there. Yeah, get some barbecue. Terry Black's especially. That's That was my favorite. And then, uh, oh, yeah, with Al, wasn't he saying, like, he, he's, he was, like, supporting the black licorice as yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah, because we were talking about, uh, we can't eat that. The black licorice? Yeah, you like that? It's not the one that I go for, yeah. typically. Yeah, like, do you remember the candy good and plenty? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. No, I don't, uh, it's not one that I, neither one of those words described. There's plenty of licorice I didn't want to eat, yeah, basically. That, yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you. The Mike and Ikes are like the jet, like the, the jelly bean Mike ones. Mike and Ikes were great. Those are great. Yeah. I like that offshoot. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are good. Uh, that's it for comments. That's it. All right. And yeah, and that's it for this episode. We got to get out of here. Yeah, you got a dope fan base, man. That's really cool. Thanks. I'm glad they gave all the support. We went an hour and a half. Is that <clears throat> too long? I should have I should have left. Are you exhausted? Can we do it again? No, I'm great. This is, this is perfect. Yeah, you didn't even get through your cold brew. It flew by. This will last it, me two days. It did. We we had a great time. Yeah. Sandro Yocolano, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you, dude. This Guys, is fucking blessed. Yeah, if you're in L.A., you'll probably catch him at the Comedy Store performing. Um, can people... Hope to see you on Instagram someday, yeah, or someday. should they just check out Guido Gagoots? Yeah, the Guido Gagoots, uh, G U I D O, and then G A G G, no, G A G O O T Z. Z, yeah, yeah, you'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, and then catch me if you happen to be around me. You know, say hi. Yeah, there you go. And you got like a, you got like eighty thousand followers almost on, on the there. Guido. Yeah. yeah, we've had some stuff so uh, guys, pop off. So check cool. out those videos, guys. Those are hilarious. Uh, the man behind that is this guy, Sandro Yocolano. Uh, check him out. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Great thank time you, dude. today, and everyone. Thank you, guys out there and don't forget subscribe to the youtube channel guys if you haven't yet uh thanks a lot everyone this is joe code i'm joe marisi